welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. And today we've got a review of this beer. This is a Dea and it's called Invoice Me for the Microphone. It's an IPA coming in at 6.5%. It's in a large 500 ml can, which is always good. Uh, another Dea, we like Dea. Dea always do really good beers. Um, this one is, uh, this is not one of their newer ones. This one's been around for a while, although I do see that they are re-brewing this one. But this is a soft, juicy IPA with plenty of citra and mosaic. So, let's get this beer out of the can and into the glass. See what it's like, shall we? Dea, I mean, a lot of people are saying that they're consistently good one of the best breweries there are, there are these are based down in uh, i think it's cheltenham um, in the west country there we go i may have poured that a little bit fast so there we go we've got a really hazy sort of yellowy sort of color we've got a free finger white really fluffy head there you can see that soft compact i to put that up there so you can see the can. Uh, I've just changed my setup slightly here so um, so I can show you the showcase of the can while I'm doing the review and you can see the can uh, and you can see all the great artwork on there. You see this is a sort of uh, a very sort of musically themed one. Anyway, so beer in the glass. As I said, two and a bit finger head. Really yellowy, golden and hazy as a good IPA should be. Let's get some aroma, shall we? Quite subtle the aromas on this one. There's obviously a, there's a, there's a lot. It's pineapple there, and then you've got a little bit of citrus, a little bit of lemon and lime, a bit of grapefruit. But it's I would say that let's give it a swirl. Let's see if we can get some more aromas out there. For a six point five percent IPA, I would expect you to. A bit more, but you're getting pineapple, pineapple and citrus there. So without further ado, let's let's get it down, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Really nice mouth feel. Really fresh and crisp and fruity. It's a lovely IPA. It's um, yeah, the citrus is there. It's a it's a strange one really because I'm I'm really getting those sort of hints of um, of of pineapple but they're not overpowering. A little bit of mango, a little bit of passion fruit. Lemons and limes. A slight sort of there's that sort of slightness of sort of coconut. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm trying to work out if it is coconut or not. There's something there. It has a lovely soft mouthfeel, which gives it that creaminess. That creamy sweetness is there as well. Um, and that just really makes it a lovely beer to drink. Very dry. Very, very. I'm sitting there going, you know, if I, if I see, if you see me doing that a lot in my videos, it's because the beer is really dry. And you know, when you're drinking a liquid like this, you'd expect that to sort of coat the throat and you know, and obviously, you know, give you that hydration a little bit. But the, it, it almost, the dryness is so overpowering, it sort of sucks it out. And you know, it's not a bad thing. Makes you drink more, makes you really enjoy it. Pi pineapple for me is the big flavor here. But it's lovely, you can see that. It's lacing the glass nice, retaining its head really, really well. And it's so smooth and juicy. It's really, you know, there's so much, there's so much flavors, but it's not like throwing your, throwing itself at you in terms of, this is a pineapple flavor, you gotta drink this pineapple flavored sort of smoothie. That you can tell it's beer, you get a little bit of warmth, the alcohol 6.5 percent you know it's best reasonably high really um it's it's a lovely beer i'm really enjoying this a really good one daya you know keep on making these beers they're great let's get some scores shall we welcome back scores are in for daya invoice me for the microphone Really nice beer, this one. So let's start with the aroma. Aroma, a little bit subtle. You do get that sort of pineapple and tropical flavors, 
flavor sort of flavors and smells the aroma sorry i said flavors i mean you know i mean smells that aroma is quite subtle though it's not as overpowering not sort of juicy and and you know i'm standing here sometimes i can open a can of beer and i can smell the aromas from this far i don't even need to put my nose but this one is a little bit more subtle so marks down a little bit 13 out of 20 for aromas appearance well it's a lovely golden yellow um hazy with a you know a nice you know we had a two or three finger head to begin with but you can see this has retained its head nice lace in the glance i'm giving it a nine out of ten for appearance and looking nice looking beer flavor it's just really really fresh really nice there's no bitterness at all i'm really loving these beers you know 6.5 percent usually you know you might get a slight bitterness you go to the west if you look at a west coast type of ipa you are getting that bitterness but you get no bitterness however you what you don't when you don't get bitterness you get a dryness quite dry but you know i love dry beer that's you know for me that's a really great thing dry beer and there's there's fruit flavors but they're quite subtle really nice nicely sort of uh, measured together so i'm giving it a 35 out of 40 for flavor really great mouthfeel as well value for money nice big 500 ml can i'd give it a 9 out of 10. an overall experience it's really nice citra mosaic really great hops they really do work they sort of combine together really well with this beer and we've seen a lot more beers using both of those hops quite 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 a lot now but it just you know they just know how to put it all together in a, just a nice package it's really really flavorsome really fruity easy to drink it doesn't feel like a six and a half percent beer so i'm getting it 15 out of 20 for overall experience so we top those scores up and we're getting an 81 out of 100. It's a low level Iron Maiden beer. Is it the, you know, what's, what's the low, a low rating Iron Maiden song? Could it be a, a Sanctuary? Could it be a Gangland? Could it be Invaders? Uh, could it be The Prophecy from Seventh Son? Whatever it is, it's a good beer. It's an Iron Maiden beer. And, they, and Iron Maiden don't really make bad songs. And Daya don't really make bad beers. So another thumbs up for Daya. 81 out of 100. Iron Maiden beers. The original and best heavy metal beer. Here it is. Until the next video. Keep on rocking.